All right, so our first goal in this is we want to start with creating this, um, basically the base of where all this stuff is going to go, okay? And I'm going to keep it simple. It's not going to be, you know, uh, ready to be output and put into a car or anything like that. It's basically we're just going to keep it simple, go through the tools, and then call it a day. All right, so we're going to call it a, an assignment. It's going to take more than a day to do. We start off with the CV curve tool. Okay, so I'm going to go to the side view, right view uh, works good. And I'm basically going to create a profile of what it would look like from the side. So if you need to, you know, draw it several times. Okay, and I want to go a little bit further this way and a little bit further that way that I need. Okay, so I hit enter. So this is basically... Uh, the dashboard of the car, like the top area. This is where the uh, radio and uh, air conditioning controls are going to go. And there's a little storage compartment area here. And this is where the cup holders and stick shift are going to go. Okay. So if I needed to, I can grab some of these points and say, okay, well, I want this to be a little bit bigger. Okay, I can add a little bit more division here. I want to make sure this is nice and smooth. I don't want to have my points kind of zigzagging like this because it just creates a sloppy surface. If you watch the flow of the points, they should all be pretty consistent um, with where they're at. All right, so that looks, that looks good. Okay. We'll see it once we uh, get, get to an actual surface. We'll see it a little bit better. So I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to scoot it over. I'm going to duplicate it again, scoot it over to the other side. Now, again, uniformity we want to keep in mind. So if I grab this guy and I look and I say, okay, well, I moved him, let's say, six units over. I want to grab this guy and move him negative six units. That way we have the same distance on each side. Then I'm going to take this guy here, and I want to give this a little bit of rounding. That's why I created this third one, okay? So um, I could take this and just go like this and like that, but I'm going to get this kind of funky surface. Surfaces, loft. Always select them in the order that we're lofting. Okay. And it doesn't really look, uh, it doesn't look, really look like it's matching it. Okay. Especially with this like little U here and this extra piece here. And if I take this and move it back to get rid of those, I basically eliminated the rounding here. Okay. So what I want to do is go to control vertex and just manually kind of grab these and just move them in the one direction. I don't want to grab the middle because that's going to throw them off to the side, okay, like that. And then that creates non-uniformity. So I just grab the arrow, and just nudge until I get a nice little rounding here. And there's some other tools too we could probably use for this. Um, but I'm going to show them just so you can see them. Um, but I don't want you to go bananas trying to use every single tool that's available in the bucket. Okay, uh, let me just delete that for a minute because I can just recreate it real quick. Under the EP curve, okay, I'm going to hold down C and click and drag along a curve. It snaps it. Hold down C still, click and drag along this curve, hit enter. That creates a curve that just attaches these two guys. I'm going to go to control vertex, grab these two points, pull them up. And I've created basically a little arch, a little rounding that I would want on that. So then I can grab... Uh, under surfaces, I don't have anything selected. I'm going to go to the by rail tool. And I'm going to say, it says down here what to do. It says select the profile curve. There's my profile. Select the two rails. Boom, boom. And that did basically what the other one did. Um, and it will keep it uniform. Uniform. I said that weird. Control vertex. I can grab these, pull it out. And you can see how it's pulling it uh, nice and evenly throughout that. Okay. But we want to keep it somewhat simple. Um, so if you want to try that method, you can try that method. Um, it's pretty simple to do, and it keeps it uniform. uniform. All right, so we're good with that. Um, I want to look at this and see, okay, do I like the dimension of this? Um, obviously, if this was an actual uh, vehicle, we may want to grab some of the points and maybe scale the points out in some of these areas, okay? But we're keeping it simple for this one. I want you to keep it simple, okay? 
We are going to make a little bit more distance here, so I'm going to grab all of these and just kind of... Oops. Let me grab this guy here and scale him out to 8. Or move him out to 8. This one's negative 8. And then this guy here. This is why the other method doesn't work so good when you're adjusting stuff after the point, after the fact. So I right clicked on this one and went to edit point, and I can just hold down C or V and move this. Oops, not there. Yeah, I didn't think that would work. I'm going to hold down C and just middle drag along this curve. Grab this one, hold down C, middle drag. There we go. Okay, now I made it a little bit bigger because I'm going to be chopping this, chopping into this a little bit to get the side panels of it. All right. So, like I said, we could adjust the scale, whatever. All right, so now I'm going to come into my front view. Okay, here this is. And I'm just going to create a NURBS um, square. And I can't see it because it's like, uh, it was there. Let's pull it forward a little bit. Let me look at the back of this. Yeah, I was. Okay, that's weird. Um, let me just verify that. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I wasn't being too careful and I actually modeled that sideways. Whatever. It'll still work. I just have to switch to the back view instead of the other one. Okay, I'll rotate my stuff around after. So, 90 degrees. I'll bring this up, scale this up. All right, let's see how that's going to look. Okay, I'm going to delete this bottom one because I don't need it. And then I want to create a rounding here. I want to create a nice little fillet rounding. So I grab the two curves, edit curves, curve fillet. Make sure trim is selected, low radius, fillet. And if I zoom in, you can see that the fillet on here is super duper tiny. I want that to be bigger. So radius one, that's good. I like that one. So I'm gonna grab the other side, edit curves, curve fillet, radius of one, there we go. Okay, so now I've created this. So I'm gonna grab these and delete the history. I'm going to go to edit curves, attach the curves. Oops. I didn't do that and go back to the option box. Make sure it's on connect, keep originals off, attach, delete the history. I'm just going to nudge it over so I can grab these pieces because they're always there and delete them. All right. So now I'm going to grab, uh, start back here. I start on the surface. See where this is like connecting and touching? I want to make sure I'm touching at least a little bit. And duplicate it and pull it into the surface a little bit. There we go. And I'm going to shift click both of these and loft. And this is basically going to be the shape, the cutout of this. Okay. So I'm going to grab both of these and I want to just like, uh, I want to fill it, it yes, uh, to make them nice and neat. But first I'm going to cut it. So edit NURBS, intersect surfaces, option box. I'm going to say put curves on both surfaces. So now what this does is it gives me a curve along each surface. So now what I can do is click on this guy and say edit NURBS trim tool. I want to keep this part. Enter. Okay. I'm going to click on this piece. Hit Y. Okay. And in here it doesn't know where... Um, the where this curve ends. If I click on this, you can see how it starts here, it comes up, goes back down, and you can see that it doesn't ever hit the end of this. Okay? So if I took this curve and I moved it until it hit just the edge of that, it would work perfectly. But I'm going to show another method. So I'm going to go to the top view. Where is it? There it is. And I'm just going to create an EP curve. So I'm going to start here, hold down shift, click there, and basically this is going to cut it off. So I'm going to click the curve, shift click the surface, and say edit NURBS, project curve on surface. Okay, default is set to active view, that's what we want. Project, and go to perspective view. So what this is going to do is just put a curve on the surface that connects these two curves 
and then allow me to go back to the trim tool and say I want to keep this area. Okay, so now you see that I have this nice um, fillet type area here. Okay, beautiful. So now what I want to do, not fillet, but uh, trimmed area. So now what I want to do is put my fillet in. I'm not too concerned with this area. We're going to, you know, kind of crop in close to this thing. Even if we do show this, I don't care because we're not really concerned with that. All right. So edit NURBS, surface fillet, circular fillet. We want to make sure to create curve on surfaces on. We want to take this radius down. Let's do it to point 0.2. We'll see where that gets us. Okay, I already know my scale is kind of big, so I'm just going to leave it at 0 0.2. So fill it. And it comes in, and it looks like it's wrong. Yes, it is. If I look at it here, you can see it's filleting wrong. So I'm going to come into my primary radius and make that negative. Okay, that didn't work. Make my secondary radius negative. And that looks like it worked. It looks like we have a nice fillet along there. Now if I wanted to make this a little bit bigger, I grab both of these, negative 0.5, and I think that might look good. Okay, You really have to play with these numbers to kind of get a good setting. In Maya, if we went from this big fillet into this tiny fillet, sometimes we'll get some funky results. Okay, but I think we're good there. What does that other guy have? Right there. Okay. So let's go to Edit NURBS. Let's go to Trim Tool. I'm going to say I want to keep this. Hit Y. I'm going to click on this back piece. Say I want to keep this. Hit Y. Okay. I'm going to go to the Move Tool. Click off. Okay. So now if we to get rid of our curves, show NURBS curves, you can see we have this surface here, a little fillet. And then we have our main surface right there, okay? Now we did lose the, the rounding here, but I'm not too concerned about that. If you look at a lot of these, like this one, if we wanted to create this type of thing, we could, um, I could have just gone into my curves here and just added that uh, rounding inside this. But I'm not too concerned with that because my focus is gonna be here in the center area. And this one I would imagine would be something you kind of like tuck it into your area and the dashboard would go over the top of it if that makes uh, sense to anyone okay and the angle of this is not as drastic as the angle of some of these okay so just keep in mind that this isn't like i said car ready this is just something to give us a basic understanding of the nerves tools while creating something that looks kind of fancy all right now if we were to zoom in here and render this one thing you're going to notice is that we have a bunch of holes in here we will fix these holes later okay but right now we're not going to be too concerned with the holes okay and the reason that we have holes in here is because when we render um, Maya will take our NURB surfaces it converts them into polygon surfaces and then it takes those polygon surfaces and renders those okay so there's a process called tessellation of converting these into polygons and just so you can see um, just for fun if I display the polygons this is what it's actually rendering Okay, so if you look at the holes here, and we look at the holes here, those match up perfectly because that's what it's rendering. Okay, so oops, turn that off, turn that off, turn that off. So we have to crank those settings up, but we're not going to do that right now. We'll do that later on in the game. So let's save this as center, I'm going to call it the console, but find out the right name. Um, dot zero 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 one save okay and then we can do always do our increment and save control alt s as we're saving that way we have an extra version and if something breaks we can always go back to that previous version and grab our stuff off of there okay so if this didn't turn out good wipe the stuff do it again it's gonna be much quicker to try to do that kind of thing than to try to go through and fix what needs fixing okay i just turned off my grid i didn't want to see that all right, now I'm also going to grab this and delete the history. I'm kind of happy with where everything is in this case, so I'm going to do that. Uh, I am going to go to show NURBS curves, then I'm going to go to show NURBS surfaces. That way I can just see the curves, and I'm just going to throw these on a layer 
and hide them. Okay, I'm going to call this layer construction curves. You're going to get a lot of curves as we're doing this. So we want to maintain here's all of our curves in case we ever need to get them to use them again. Show NURB surfaces again. Good. Okay. So now I'm going to grab this. I'm going to group it. And in my case, I my front view is actually the back view. So I'm just going to rotate mine around 180. Okay. That's just my own thing that I messed up on. You probably won't have that same issue. So don't worry about it. And if you do, then you do and fix it. Okay. So now I'm going to go to edit ungroup. And that gets us back to where we were. Cool. All right. So now we can take this stuff. And it's very important that we don't accidentally move any of this stuff. Because even me, I barely moved it. You can see 0 0.145, 0 0.082. No, no amount of fixing inside of Maya later on will help us fix this huge gap that I've just created here. Okay. Huge gap. So we have to make sure that we don't move these surfaces around anymore. Okay, so I don't have any of these things moved at all. So now what we're gonna do is kind of break this up into sections uh, of things that we want to add in here. Okay, so if we look at this guy, let me draw a bigger picture. Let's say car. Let's say something like that. All right, so we have like, here's the radio area, here's the air conditioning area. You can see the shapes that they have here, kind of like this V pattern, okay? Um, so we're gonna create basically isolating some of these areas um, in our layout here. So the first thing I like to do is just kind of go through and just block in some things. So um, I'm gonna go in with a, this is gonna sound probably weird, I'm going to go in with a sphere and just set this to linear and set my divisions to four. There we go. So set my sections to four, my spans to three. And I'm just going to take this top one and this bottom one and just scale those guys in. Okay, that just gives me a cube. That's all it does. Now there is a NURBS cube nerbs cube but just like our nerbs square this is actually several pieces so this gets me what i want that's all i need okay now extra bonus step i'm just going to rotate it 45 and then go to modify for each transforms there we go okay and then this just gives me a basic cube okay so i'm just going to use this as a placeholder to just line some of these things up before I start cutting into it, before I start doing any of the fancy work, okay? Because you don't want to get there and say, whoa, I left way too much room for my radio and not enough room for all my other stuff. Okay, right, so let's say that's, let's say that's the air conditioning blowers. Okay, we'll have a little spot for those guys. And the radio, I'll the radio be a bit bigger. Here is air conditioning units. I have a little storage area down here. That'll be the stick shift. And if we have time. This will be the pop area. Okay. So I'm looking at this saying, you know, does this stuff make sense? Do I, do I like the way this stuff is being laid out? And it's very blocky. It's not going to be um, the world's greatest center divider console radio area type thing. But it is what it, it's going to be. Okay. So in the radio, there's a lot of detail in here. There's uh, the knobs and all this stuff <clears throat> here. There's all these buttons down there. A slot for the CD player, um, a jack for that. Down here we have the uh, other controls. Now in this case, these are basically about the same size. Uh, I'm probably going to eliminate some of these other things that are inside here. Okay, here's a very basic radio. That might even be the same radio. 
Yes, it is. No, that's why it's coming up like with all the Sonic ones. Car radio. That's what I wanted. Um, here's a super basic one. Okay, really old fashioned type thing. Some of them have uh, like visual type things on here. Some of them have lights and things. We're keeping it super simple. Okay, your first one should always be simple and then you build upon it. It's actually going to be something probably along the lines of this where we have some detail in these areas um, and some detail in the buttons and whatnot, but we haven't gone into a crazy amount of detail and we haven't gone super duper simple. We've just gone super simple. Okay, so maybe I want to shrink these guys a little bit. Okay, let's drop this in there. Okay, this thing looks kind of tiny. Okay, and that's my stick shift, so that's gonna be pretty square looking ish. That'll come back. This will come here. Okay, so that should be pretty good. A pretty good start to uh, to this. We have some pretty good proportions here. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab these guys, make a new layer. Let's call this template. Okay, and I just hit T for template. That way I have a rough idea of where they're gonna be at. All right. So now we're gonna go into our front view. I'm gonna go to my create nerves square. I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees facing the camera. See how easy that is, just kind of, I already have the size there, it's just kind of like, boom, size it up. Lock in position, and we're good, okay? We always want to put fillets on these things. <clears throat> if we don't put the fillets here, the fillets won't work on the actual surface, okay? That's how it blends it. Edit curves, curve fillet tool, trim. Uh, I'm going to hit apply in this case, and say, okay, that's too much. I'm going to hit undo, 0.5, apply. Still a little bit too much. 0.2 looks good. Okay. So, oops. so now what I can do is grab these next two, hit G, grab the next two, hit G, and grab the next two, hit G. Okay. Then we don't have to change them afterwards. Okay. And just like before, we grab the whole thing. I delete the history. I go to edit curves, attach curves, connect, keep, keep originals off. Delete the history, move it, delete the bits. There we go. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna have this go into the surface here. Okay, there's a couple of different ways that I can do that. Uh, one way will give me a straight shot into this thing. Okay, if we look at some of these car radios here, uh, if you look at like this radio, um, the buttons are kind of out at an angle. This thing is it's on a little bit of an angle, but it's, see how it gets pushed back. It's not like perfectly even um, knocked back in there. Okay. Uh, this guy here, obviously this is like a digital concept car, um, but this goes pushed back in here. It doesn't go on a perfect angle. It's not like this type of surface. Okay, let me just loft these together. It's not like that, okay? It's more along the lines of something like this inside the car. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do exactly what I just did, which is duplicate this, push this in, okay, grab both curves, and then go to loft. Okay, and that created my little um, area. And this is the AC, remember, that's the, not the AC controls, but the AC, uh, Vents. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay, and there's obviously there's round ones here. There are square ones. We're gonna go with the square type ones like this. Okay, and we're not gonna do the uh, center divider here. Uh, we could if we wanted to.
Okay, we can do the center divider. Okay, so I'm gonna do the center divider. It's a last minute change. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just break this up. I'm gonna I'm gonna basically make two of these, one for this side, one for that side. So easy peasy cup of cheesy. Oops. I'm gonna hit F8. Grab these points. All right, let me duplicate this guy first, because I may use him later. All right, go back to the vertices, grab these points, scoot this over. Grab these vertices, scoot that over, okay? And I'm gonna look at my front view, and I'm gonna turn my grid on, and I know the black line is my center. So if I just kind of keep that in mind as to how far I wanna go with my center divider line, then that'll be cool, okay? So now you see I have one here, and I can duplicate it. <clears throat> Go into my scale. If you see I scale it this way, it'll be perfect. I'm just gonna scale this, negative one in X. It flips it right over. So now I have two AC controls. Okay, let me move that guy up. I guess I have two spares now. Okay, so now I have two of these guys right here that I can just take and duplicate and push in. It's fine there, okay. Now I can't grab all four of these and do a loft on them because it'll give me some funky shape like that. So I do them one at a time. Grab this, shift click that, surfaces loft, this, that, surfaces loft, or hit G because we just went to that command. <clears throat> so now that we have this, I'm going to grab this piece, shift click that piece, and go to um, edit nerves, surface fillet, circular fillet. Okay, I wanna add a little bit of a fillet on this. Uh, create curve on surface, yes. Radius of point two, we'll see. Hit apply. And I didn't hit fillet because I don't wanna close the box. I know this is in the wrong spot. I can see it. Okay, so I'm gonna undo that. I'm gonna click on one of these, hit apply. Okay, that didn't work, so I hit undo. Switch them. Hit apply. Okay, that's the correct way it should go. It should go from the top surface and round into that other surface. Okay, point 0.2 is a bit too much though. So let's take this down to point 0.05. Your number is going to be different. Don't go by my number. You have to kind of figure out what's a good number for you. Point 0.05 looks good. It's a nice little rounding fillet. If you look at this guy here, um, it does a little bit bigger one, but it actually bumps up and then goes down. So I think that's probably good. Let's just see what point one is gonna look like. Point one looks good too, okay? I wanna make sure I don't get it too close to this, otherwise they'll kinda of bump into each other and it'll explode, okay? So then I can grab this, shift click that, hit apply, go into wireframe, and I see that it went the wrong way. It should be going the same direction as the other one. Hit undo, swap these. Still going the wrong way, so take that one. There we go. Okay, just a matter of playing with these reverses until we get it. These reverses here are the same as making these negative. So you see how it says negative, negative. That's why, because of the reverses around. Okay, so now we go in here and let's go to our trim tool, and we're going to click there and hit Y to complete the tool. We're going to click on this, and we want to keep this inner piece, let me go to wireframe so we can see it. I'm gonna keep this inner piece, hit Y. Click on this, keep the inner piece, hit Y. So now we've just cut out, oops, come on. Now we just cut out the area for those vents, okay? Now the vents that we create for this are very super duper simple. It's just a matter of basically like locking them in, just modeling something like this and dropping it in there, okay? So we'll get to the modeling part of that later. We just want to create those holes right now, okay? So now we can do the radio. So let me go back to the front view. That's why I kept this guy around. Let's pull this down. Let me turn my grid off so I can actually see. Okay, now I don't wanna scale this. Let me unrotate it. And I'm gonna pull it forward to me because it's like cutting inside here. There we go. Um, I don't want to scale it because if you scale it, you can see how my fillets up here are no longer perfectly rounded like they were. I want to go in here to the control vertex, grab the points, pull these up to the top, grab these points, pull these down to the bottom, 
Uh, grab these points, scale them up, just to kind of give a little bit more division evenness. Go back to object mode, clickety it. I'm going to duplicate it, push it in. Grab these both, and go to surfaces loft. Now, if I wanted a tiny bit of a of a angle or a tiny bit of a movement on this, I can just grab this other one and just scoot that down a little bit. That way I get a little bit of an angle on here and it's nothing too drastic. It's not like matching the same angle of this thing there, which it wouldn't have. Okay, so grab both of these and I go to edit NURBS. I go to surface fillet, circular fillet. We'll just see, hit apply. Okay, and right off the bat, it looks like we got a good one. Looks like it's going to start at the top of the surface and work its way down. It's going to take a little bit of time for you to get just get used to kind of seeing that, but it's there. Uh, so now we go back to the trim tool. I want to keep this surface and get rid of that. Hit Y. Click on this box. I want to keep this. Get rid of that. Okay. Now obviously this goes back too far. I'm not concerned about that because we're going to actually... Um, uh, create a new surface that's going to be kind of like the flat plane of it. Okay, so ignore how far back that actually goes. It could go back six miles and three yards. Um, that's going to be fine the way it is. Okay, so now let's take this guy up here. And I'm going to duplicate him. I'm going to pull him down. I'm going to move him more out so I can see it. Now unrotate him. And I'll, if I line up the top point of this, and then go to Control Vertex, all I have to do is move the bottom. Okay, so now we have this guy pretty much lined up. I'm going to duplicate it, shove it in, move it down slightly, just like we did the other one. Maybe a little bit more, just because we're on a little bit more of an angle. And then we loft. Beautiful. Grab both of these little bits of fillets. Okay, fillet it, nail it first time. Awesome. Trim tool, keep the inside of this. Enter. If you accidentally do the wrong one, just hit undo. Keep this. I want to keep this area. Enter. Okay. So now let me just turn off my surfaces. Grab these guys, throw them on my construction curves, get rid of them. I'm going to turn off my templates. Okay, now you can see we're at a good spot right here where we're seeing uh, these flats that are inside this. Okay, now I'm going to go back to my construction curves. And I'm going to grab this guy here and duplicate it and then hide my construction curves. And I want to pull him off there temporarily. So I'm just going to right click on construction curves and say remove selected object. That way I can see where this guy is. Now remember this is facing the wrong way because I rotated. So I'm just going to rotate it around the correct way. Okay. And what this gives me is it gives me uh, an edge that's pretty much lined up with where those faces are going to be. Okay. So if I take this and duplicate it and shove it over. And I grab both of these and I loft. Okay, you can see how this is going to be where my radio face is going to be at. So I'm just going to pull this forward as far as I think I need it. I think there's probably good. I'll have a little bit of a rounding here, a little bit of a rounding there for my stuff. So I'm just going to click on this. Shift click. Um, let's see. There's a couple surfaces that are in play here. Okay, all of these guys. So I'm going to click on this. I'm going to shift click that and say edit nerves intersect. Uh, both surfaces, yes. There we go. This and that. Hit G. This and that. Hit G. I don't want to grab the fillet. I want to grab that little extruded part, that little lofty part right there. G. I think that's it. Okay. So now if I grab this and I go to edit nerves trim. I say, what part do I want to keep? I want to keep this, 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 and that. Enter. 
Okay, so that basically filled it in with some sort of face right there. Okay, so now let's go and save incremental. Oh, my. Uh... Okay, so Maya crashed uh, when I tried to save, <clears throat> which is always important to save your work um, as you're going. Um, so I think it's a good spot to end the lecture, um, and then we'll continue on with this um, once I have rebuilt my stuff, and then we can go from there.